within a, 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 a wormhole, which would be interesting. Does a wormhole accelerate to one on its own? Like, does, does it have like its own flow of like gravity? Like, 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 like directing like like an object inside of it as they're going in, in, in a particular direction? Or is that something like an object needs to do on its own? You know, like if a comet went through like a natural wormhole, like. I guess the comet being accelerated by like the wormhole's gravity, or it, uh, does the comet accelerate itself? The wormhole. I guess the wormhole, like just like a, a an open gate, and you have to walk yourself through it, or is it like like like, like an escalator or something? You know, like like eighty, like 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 directing you to like a path or a, a route. You know, that's what I'm wondering. Oh man, uh, I noticed something. I'm, I'm gonna do some linear cl clone ideology. I want to create a character. This is fan fiction, 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 or fiction coda, whatever. Coda, which is like Latin for code. I don't know, like Matrix stuff. Uh. Yeah, I want, I want to like, m like, like, make a character like of all my other favorite characters. The word Zephyr means uh, westward wind or gentle wind of the west or flowing westward. I don't know, something like that. You know, it's like cloud skywalking crap. But I'm gonna name like a character Zephyroth. Yeah. So I, you know, even though Sephiroth is a villain in, in like Final Fantasy, I still find his character like highly interesting. I don't, I don't think that should have been his character's name in regards to being a villain. <laughs> I don't know why they named Sephiroth that. But who cares? It's still a cool name. Hmm. But yeah, I, I like certain characterizations and or personalities of different characters, you know. So do like a uh, a mashup compilation of such. You know, like, like cool awesome characters. Like Master Chief and and uh, the, the Metroid Prime person. And and, and Captain Kirk. And and you know the stupid ass character named Zap Brannigan from uh, Futurama, but I don't understand. Like, why would a character who's stupid make Captain? Right? Unless he's not actually a stupid character and this is just satire. Like, Zap Fennigan. I don't know. Why is it that the, the one eyed alien maybe is like a good person who's like smarter than everybody, whereas everyone else is like stupid or something? I don't know. A lot of characters is actually questionable. Uh, it's just character vilifying me as well. You got claims that some guy is their only friend. Cause like, you know, I don't understand this, this concept here. You know? I just don't get it. Yeah, alright, pictures. Random guys. Like, like, the dude, Daniel Craig, the new Bond, looks like Harrison Ford. Was hand shell out, right? It looks like Leon Scott Kennedy from RE4. It looks like Sephiroth from FF7. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Bradley Cooper and Ben Affleck both look alike. All right, uh, Chris Pine and that guy they look alike. It looks like him. It looks like him. It looks like a an older young version of William Shackner. That's how he currently looks. It looks like Zap Afron or something. I don't know. Alright, this is way too random. Like Zap the cat that. I think I do weird things with my voice. I don't know. I I I've met like few individuals who do weird stuff similar to what I do. We got to like characterizations or in and out of role playing or something. 
I don't know. I think I got the idea from one of them. Like, I, I, some people do do this stuff. Like, uh, I don't know. I notice it on like certain sites and discussion groups, but it's in form of text instead of in form of hypothetical role playing for fun. You know, it's like some people probably like are actors for as a hobby and whatnot versus like like working on stage somewhere as an amateur novice or semi-professional professional. Whereas I'm not an actor. I just do this for fun to entertain myself. All right. Mm. I don't care. But I mean, I appreciate actors and all. Like, a lot of actors are really great. They're really great at their craft and skill, and I'm glad they act. They're awesome. Cool, man. I, I think The Matrix should have had, like, some, some other futuristic elements, though. I, like, they're in space or something. They had, like, space stations, and Zion was actually a moon, and. Like. I don't know. Like, you. Do you have different forms of harvesting people and all? I think it should turn Body Harvest into a video game from Nintendo <clears throat> into a movie. That would be very interesting, man. I think it, uh, the Matrix should have like some other futurism elements, though, like like being in space, moon base, space station. Like the hovercrafts can actually fly in the skies when not like regular aircrafts and stuff. And like if they were fortified properly, you could like fly in and out of space and whatnot even, you know? Something like that. And like the, the, the sentinels are like actually made by specific rogue alien races or something. Who could possibly hate humans. Whereas humans believe they're all humans inside of the Matrix when they're all at, like elves or something with green blood. Something weird. Like like green like like this this alcohol bottle. Went to green alcohol. I don't know. Why does the, the Vulcans in Star Trek do th 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 this? I can't even do it. Like, does that mean I suppose I have three fingers or something? Like Yoda? I know there's some like creatures and like some vampires movies where like half werewolf and like, whatever got like three fingers, man. Like claws up. What the hell am I talking about? I have to stop cursing. No more F bombs. But it's like a lot of weird stuff for carrying. Uh, this is off topic. That it makes me use the F-bomb a lot. Whereas, like, if I'm not supposed to use the F-bomb, then why the F do people do weird things? Other than weird stuff I may be doing. They make you say the F in F-bomb. Like, what the f F? Like, F is a bad word. But what the f Bleep. Come on. Like, I don't know. It's like having a weird dream, you know, you're, you're not sure what's going on, because like, you, your character has like a normal implant, and, and etc. And they won't remove it, deliberately keeping you confused, is a device of confusion to him. You know, so like if he's awake or asleep, he, like, like it's a misception crap, he wouldn't know. No, I forgot, that guy, is, nah, I don't know. He's a cool guy, he's a cool dude, the actor, DiCaprio. Uh, say he looked like clones. Like everybody looks alike, put it that way. Like we're all the same, no matter size, color, height, voice, uh, whatever, race, ethnicity, nationality. We're all hypothetically the same. Yeah. Like I, as a kid, I wonder what like. What what would my face look at as if if I was a white person, and what would a white person look at as if they were black? And then you get your notions like ah, because like since we're all humans and all, we got to share traits of the human race. Like why why would we have like the same faces of another race? You know, it's like uh, Carl Sagan kind of looks like like a white person of Michael Jackson, but. Who became white himself? 
coincidence. I don't want to use the word irony, but ironic is hate. I am getting too random here. Back on topic to my fiction. Uh, yeah, the Matrix being made by rogue aliens of the future. Or something. Un or possibly, like, like aliens who, stupid enough, like, created, like, like robots that, like, a hypothetical galactic government or, and or senate or federation, galactic federation, forbid them if doing it in the first place, but they did it, like, underhandedly, thus, like, like losing control over their creations, which led up to, like, some sort of rogue, like, uh, uprising or something of, of defective machinery, which then led to the creation of, like, the Matrix, due to the fact that, like, these hypothetical aliens, let's call them the Koreans from, uh, Mass Effect, Th that element created something they weren't supposed to create, or did a little extra to with, with the matters of things they weren't supposed to do, like tweaking things to becoming AI. Like, like they could probably create robots, but the idea of like, like creating a hypothetical AI structure in regards to them doing it is like forbidden because like, like I don't know, maybe they're like questionable sh species in the future, right? Like, don't create the robots. Like, let's make, like, the Andorians from Star Trek, then. Like, damn you, blue goat. You're so stupid and crazy. You do not listen to reason or anything. You just constantly do things that does not make any sense. Like, like the animal was a goat. An animal that is weird. I say like they're involved in the people in the future. You know, they'd likely be as dumb as they are animals. You know? Like, like, like the Vulcans and Andarians don't get along. It's like Vulcans have a different set of logic than an Andarian. It's probably based upon more on the idea of being, uh, mischievous, whatever. What's the big deal with doing something wrong? Like, uh, it can lead, like, to, like, an uprising or, like, overthrowing yourself in regards of, like, creating something you cannot maintain and or control later. Right? Which would become a problem from everyone else, ironically. Like, ah, damn it, they're the ones who created these things that are everywhere suddenly and causing problems for everyone else, including, like, whatever hypothetical species some character is, who, who likely isn't one of them. He's not a, a, a smurf with horns. Uh, or, uh, I don't want to use the term fine. I'm not talking to the guy. What is that creature with the, the goat legs and a horn? Oh. A centaur or something. Excuse me. Sagittarius. I didn't matter. My Zephyr, Zephyroth character, does not want any particular questionable alien character near him. He doesn't want them operating him, he doesn't want them anywhere near them, period. He thinks, like, like, 